Good morning, class. All right, let's go ahead and review our story from yesterday. Dear Mr. Blueberry. So in the story, it was about a teacher and a student writing back and forth about how the student um, noticed a whale in her pond. But then the teacher would respond back that that just wasn't possible. So let's think about the main idea and details of our story. And I already have it written down for you. Here we go. So in our story, we know that the main idea the author was telling us was that it was about whales, all right? So let's look at some details about whales. Whales eat shrimp called krill. Did you know that those shrimp were called krill? All right, that's one thing we learned about. Another thing is that whales can be the color blue, all right? There are many different whales out there, but the whale from our story yesterday was blue. Another detail is that whales live in the ocean. Do they live in ponds? No, they do not. And then our last thing is that we learned that whales migrate, which means that they swim or travel far, far away um, to a different area to live, okay? Now, we're going to be reading a different story today, all right? Now, this week, we're talking about scientists, all right? And one thing we're going to look at and ask ourselves is what are different things that scientists study, okay? So let's go ahead. And as we're reading this story, we're going to kind of make a list together of the different things that scientists study. Here we go. This story is called, What is Science? by Rebecca Kai Dotlick, illustrated by Sachiko Yoshikawa. What is science? So many things. The study of stars and Saturn's rings. Oh, look at them. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll write that as our first one. We know that scientists study, and we're going to write study stars. Very cool. All right, let's move on. The study of rocks, geodes, and stones, dinosaur fossils, and old chip bones. Does anybody know what the name of a scientist is that studies dinosaur bones? If you said paleontologist, you are correct. So we're gonna write paleontologist. Ooh, this is a big word. Paleontologist, and we'll say that they study dinosaur bones. Dino bones. Super cool, okay? All right, let's see what else. The study of soil, of oil, and gas. Look at all these cool machines that they would need in order to study these different things. So we're gonna say, um, uh, let's see, soil, so they study soil. And what's another word for soil? You are correct. Soil is dirt. Okay. Let's see. What else? Of sea and sky, of seed and grass. Whoa, look at that. Of wind and hurricanes that blow. All right, so they definitely study weather. It's very important. It's how we know what the weather is gonna be like for the next week. All right, let's see. Volcanoes, tornadoes, earthquakes, and snow. Ooh, all these different kinds of weathers they study. I think it's very important because we always need to know if a volcano is going to erupt and in order to figure that out, scientists do lots of studying with it, especially earthquakes, because those natural disasters are very unsafe. What is science? 
the study of trees. Scientists study a lot of different things. Of butterflies and honeybees. Glaciers, geysers, clay, and sand. What's a geyser? If you're looking at our paper right here, this picture right here is a geyser. And it's almost like a little hill or a little mountain that spurts, which was one of our vocabulary words this week. It spurts out water from the little mini volcano. Mighty mountains and rolling land. The power of trains, of planes that soar. Science is this and so much more. Wow, so that's another thing that they study. They study planes and even trains. Okay. So into the earth and into the sky, we question the how, the where, when, and why. We question, we wonder, we hunt and explore the secrets of caves, the dark ocean floor. The oldest of rivers, the tombs of kings. What is science? So many things. All right, so there are so many different things that scientists study. And I think it's very important for them to study it so that we can have more, one of our vocabulary words, information and facts about different things that are around us, all right? So in your work, which I'm gonna show you right now, you're gonna have a worksheet that looks like this. It's called, What is Science? And it says, I can write about what scientists study. So you can choose any one of these that we might have wrote down.